A Rhode Island doctor who's been at the center of multiple controversies is now in hot water with OSHA. The government agency says Dr. Anthony Farina failed to protect workers at his North Providence and West Greenwich offices from the coronavirus, and he could face a hefty fine. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with how he's responding. Kim. Well, this is the same accusation that led to Farina's medical license being suspended earlier this year, but his attorney says it's not true. It was January when Dr. Anthony Farina had his medical license suspended. The Department of Health saying at the time he recklessly and knowingly exposed his patients and staff to COVID-19. A complainant telling health officials Farina, quote, continued to see patients while knowingly sick. He passed the virus to employees. Fast forward to March and Farina's license was reinstated. The health department saying at the time Dr. Farina's continuation in practice no longer constituted an immediate danger to the public, so his license was restored. Then in May, a judge ruled Farina had violated fair labor laws by failing to pay overtime to more than 100 employees. And now OSHA says says Farina could face a fine of more than $136,000 for failing to implement multiple COVID-19 prevention protocols. The agency says six employees tested positive for the virus last fall. In an emailed statement to 12 News, Farina's attorney called the citation and proposed fine erroneous and outrageously excessive, saying the proposed penalty of $136,532 is legally excessive and shocks the conscience of any reasonable person adding he did not and would never jeopardize either the safety of the patients who he has meticulously cared for during his long-standing time as a doctor, nor would he place his employees in harm's way. Farina is the same person who became embroiled in a property dispute with North Providence Mayor Charles Lombardi about this building where a mural depicting the mayor wearing a crown sitting on a toilet appeared before the building was demolished. And a spokesperson for OSHA tells me that Farina will now have until June 24th to contest OSHA's findings. Farina's attorney tells me he will be doing so through, quote, all available administrative and judicial venues. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.